Raise your voice to the Lord and say, Lord, I'll make it an appointment with you. A year of appointment, a year of assignment, a year of achievement, a year of promotion, a year of celebration, a year of good things, a year of great things happening in our lives together. Deeper life family, great, 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 wonderful things. You'll catch a miracle before you go. Great exploits tonight, great miracles tonight, great signs and wonders tonight. The Lord will load you with blessings tonight before you leave. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to celebrate your power. We come to exalt your name. I will come to welcome everything you have for your children, even here tonight, in Jesus' name. Tonight, Lord, we pray the windows of heaven will open. You'll pour down rains and showers of blessing upon every soul, upon everyone, in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, we're praying that days, night, mountains will move away. Sicknesses will roll away. Oppressions will clear away. All causes and all yokes you'll broke, you'll destroy, you'll take away in Jesus' name. Your people have come to you. Visit them tonight in Jesus' name. And everywhere this world is at, all over this country, all over this continent of Africa and beyond, oh Lord, I pray, signs and wonders, miracles and exploits, you perform in the midst of your people in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. We know it is done. We know it is done. We receive your blessing here tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Sit now in the blessing of God. Once again, I welcome everyone. It's a special night. And the Lord is going to open heavens upon us. I want to open with the miracle working power of the supernatural world. The miracle working power of the supernatural world. There are many things you find in that statement. Number one is the word. The word that comes to you is going to be supernatural. It's the word that will save the soul. The word that will heal the sick. The word that will drive demons away. The word that will break every yoke. The word that will remove every curse. The word that will make impossibilities possible. How will that happen? By the power of the almighty God. And here tonight, you will see the miracles in your life in Jesus' name. Because there is miracle working power in the world. In Psalm 107, Psalm 107, verse 20, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent His word. That's how He heals, that's how He delivers, that's how He performs miracles. The word you are hearing. Is bringing miracle into your life. The word you are hearing is coming with healing power, with deliverance power, with the power that turns everything around because that's how you walk in those days come by. And that is how you're still walking today. He sent his word and heal them and deliver them from their destructions. In Psalm 55, Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 is still telling us the same thing. The power of this supernatural word that is coming to you. If you are deaf as the word enters into you, your ears will be opened. If you are blind as you are hearing the word, your eyes will open. And if you have any goiter there as the word is coming in, goiter will vanish away in Jesus' name. Tonight, the Lord is taking HIV away from those people. Because as the word comes, supernatural power will come with the word. And HIV AIDS will vanish away in Jesus' name. Arthritis will vanish away. 
and all that noise of demonic spirits and powers of the powers of darkness everything will vanish away as the word comes to you tonight in jesus name isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please which i please your salvation is what pleases him your healing is what pleases him your deliverance is what pleases him and he says when the word comes to you it will prosper in that which he pleases and then it says it shall prosper in the thing where to i send it this word will prosper in your life Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 Then said the Lord unto me Thou hast well seen For I will hasten my word to perform it Tonight your miracle will not be delayed Because the Lord says I will hasten my word The word of deliverance I will hasten it the word of power, I will hasten it. The word that takes all mountains away, I will hasten it. The word of dominion, I will hasten it. The word that makes you to reign in life, reign over your challenges, reign over your mountains, reign over your difficulties, and reign over the attacks and afflictions that may be upon your life. The Lord says, I will hasten my word. The, the word will run fast in your life. And very quickly, every yoke will be broken. Every curse will be taken away. Because the Lord God Almighty, in His majesty, in His power, in His dominion, in His never failing power, He has decided, He has made a decree of heaven. And He has said, I, the Almighty, I, the Creator, I, the one with whom all things are possible, I will hasten my word to perform it tonight. It is performed in your life in Jesus' name. In Ezekiel chapter 12, Ezekiel chapter 12, the Lord reminding us, He sent the word and healed them. He sent the word and saved them. He sent the word and delivered them. He sent the word and broke all their yokes. He sent the word and he performed those extraordinary miracles in their lives. And he says, this word will not come back void. It will accomplish. It will do that for which he has sent it. And he says he will hasten it. He will make it very fast. And it comes to your life. And then destroys every work of the devil. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 25. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 25. It says in verse 25. For I am the Lord. He didn't say I was. Is the ever present I am. He didn't say I will be. Is the ever present I am. I am the Lord. He is the Lord right here today. I said he is the Lord right here today. And the Bible says the word of God affirms with him all things are possible. And it says, I still am. I am the Lord. The one that dried up the Red Sea, I am the Lord. The one that cleansed Naaman the leper, I am the Lord. The one that opened the eyes of Bartimaeus, I am the Lord. And the one that made the lame to rise up and walk, I am the Lord. Is ever present, I am. And what he did before, he says, I'm God, I change not. He will do today in your life, in our lives together, in Jesus' name. Because I am the Lord. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. The word of God will come to pass in your life tonight in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter whatever problems you brought. The word of God says, I am the Lord. And because he is the Lord, he says he will speak. And the word that he will speak will come to pass in your life. Then he says, it shall no more be prolonged. You see that? Because tonight is your appointed time. It shall not be prolonged. It shall not be prolonged. It shall not be prolonged. And then it says, For in your days, in your days, when I say the word, 
and will perform it says the Lord God it says in your very day and this is the day tell me this is the day is the day of your miracle is the day of our signs and wonders in your days it says i will speak the word and it shall be done look at verse 28 therefore say unto them thus says the lord god there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. And then he goes on to say, But the words which I have spoken shall be done, says the Lord God. The words which I have spoken shall be done, says the Lord God. There are three points we're going to consider. Number one, the mighty power of the Savior's word. The mighty power of the Savior's word. His name is Jesus. And when he comes to you and he speaks the word unto you, there is might, there is power in the word of Jesus Christ. That's our Savior. That's our deliverer. That's our healer. He is a sanctifier. He is a baptizer in the Holy Ghost. He is the one that rolls mountains away. He even walked on the sea. And he brought calmness and peace and rest on the stormy sea. And that Jesus Christ is the same. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. And what he did in days gone by, he will do in your very life here tonight in Jesus' name. It will save the sinner. It will deliver the oppressed. It will set the captives free. It will open the eyes of the blind. The lame will rise up and walk. They will be rejoicing in the presence of the Lord here tonight in Jesus' name. The mighty power of the Savior's word. Point number two is the manifold potentials in our spoken words. The word you speak out yourself. The word you speak out concerning yourself. Concerning your situation. Concerning your own family. Concerning your locality. Concerning the challenges you have. There is a manifold potential. Many sided by potential in the word you speak out. The manifold potentials in our spoken word. Point number three. The miraculous possibilities of a servant's word. The miraculous possibilities. The miraculous possibilities of his servant's words. You remember servants like Moses? The miraculous possibilities of those words spoken by Moses. You remember Joshua? You remember Caleb? Elijah, Elisha, Peter, Paul, and the rest of them, and those of us who are servants of the Lord today, there is a kind of power, miracle working power in the word that the servants of the Lord speak today. And tonight, I'm going to speak blessing into your life. I'm going to speak a miracle into your life. And I'm going to speak healing and deliverance in your life. And the word I speak to your life tonight will take root and will prosper in your life in Jesus' name. <laughs> Miraculous possibilities of his servant's word. Point number one. Give me point number one again. The mighty power of the Savior's word. Mark chapter 2. In Mark chapter 2, we'll read the marvelous story of a man that was helpless, a man hopeless, a man sick, a man paralyzed, a man sinful, a man that all the problems you can think about, physical problem, spiritual problem, psychological problem, social problem, and just for the word of the Savior, the mighty power in that word, the mighty authority in that word, the mighty anointing, the mighty unction in the words of Jesus Christ rolled all the problems away. The word of Jesus will come to you right there where you're sitting or standing tonight and all the problems were brought in here. The words of Jesus 
will roll everything away in Jesus name Mark chapter 2 I'm reading from verse 3 and they come unto him just like we have come I have come I said I have come it says and they come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy which was born carried of all and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof where he was and when they had broken it up they let they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay and when Jesus saw their faith, that's what he was looking for. When Jesus saw their faith, was Jesus looking for tonight? Yes. Tell me out loud. He's yes. looking for faith. He's not looking for the origin of the problem. That doesn't matter. He's not looking for who is the perpetrator of the problem. It doesn't matter. It's not looking for the cause of the problem. That doesn't matter. All the Lord is looking for tonight is looking for faith. And thank God I came here tonight with faith. I said I came here tonight with faith. I just believe in my heart every prayer I pray tonight, the Lord will answer. I just believe tonight every demon I command to go out will go out. I just believe tonight every blind eye I command to open will open. I just believe tonight every paralyzed person I say get up immediately they hear that word and they obey that word they'll get up in Jesus name. I just believe tonight that whatsoever I say from here and I speak miracle each your life that miracle will come there in Jesus name. And when Jesus saw their faith, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. The man was saved. One sentence, all the sins were forgiven. One sentence, all the sins were taken away. One sentence, the peace of God came into his heart. One sentence, his name was written in heaven. Just one sentence, eternal life came unto him. Eternal life is there tonight salvation is there tonight forgiveness of sin is there tonight jesus saw their faith and the very first thing jesus said is the son that sins be taken away how could he say that because he was the lamb of god behold the lamb of god that taketh away the sin of the world any sinner in the world every sinner in the world Jesus has the power to give salvation, to give forgiveness, to give eternal life, and to give the hope of heaven. And if you are there tonight and your sins weigh you down like a mountain, like a real body, the Lord is saying tonight, your sins be forgiven in Jesus' name. That's how salvation comes. And salvation came to that man. Immediately Jesus said, Son, Thy sins be forgiven thee. Would you notice? Would you notice in that verse 5? Thy sins, singular or plural? Tell me out loud. Plural. All the sins the man ever committed since he was born. 1 plus 1 plus 10 plus 20 plus 100 plus 1,000. The small and the big. The great and the small. In one sentence, Jesus gave forgiveness of everything. And that's what he always does because he is the Lord Jesus that speaks his strength and is mighty to save. He comes to you tonight and the salvation of God comes to you in Jesus' name. And the moment you accept and the moment you hold, hold on to that word of salvation, word of eternal life, word of forgiveness, you'll find the peace of God will settle in your heart and tonight that salvation is there in Jesus' name. Look at verse 9, verse 9. Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, that sins be forgiven thee or to say arise and take up thy bed and walk but that ye may know that the son of man has power has authority has a right on earth to forgive sins he said to the sick of the palsy i say unto thee arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house 
and verse 12 tell me the word there tell me that word when you when will your miracle come when will your deliverance come the eggs place you are waiting for when will it come look at this verse 12 and uh, tell me the word again immediately tonight it is happening i said tonight it is happening if the word of jesus still has the same power it will happen if jesus has not changed it will happen and if faith still claims the same miracle it will happen if god will never fail if he says i am god i change not it will happen and the bible says and immediately he arose tonight here the lame will arise the paralyzed will arise and the people who are so sick and they are so and they are so impotent and there's no strength in them tonight all those impotent people they will arise in jesus name and then it says he took up his bed and he went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified god saying we never saw it on this fashion you will see what you have never seen you'll behold what you have never beheld because the miracle working power of god that comes upon the man will come upon the woman that comes upon the adult will come upon the young will come upon everyone in jesus name john chapter 2 verse 5 his mother says unto the servants whatsoever he says unto you tell me whatsoever he says unto you tell me whatsoever he says unto you do it it may not look reasonable do it if he tells the lame man rise up and walk do it if he tells the blind man open your eyes do it if he tells the deaf to hear do it and if he tells to run do it whatever he tells you whatsoever he says unto you do it because there is power mighty power miracle walking power mountain moving power in the word of the savior therefore whatsoever he says unto you do it don't argue agree with the lord i said don't argue agree with the lord your agreement with the lord will bring miracle in your life tonight in jesus name don't say there is no point there's a point don't say i cannot of course you will don't say nothing has happened yet something has happened already don't say the prayer is too short the prayer is long enough don't say i cannot see the power i cannot feel the power i'm holding a cup of water in my hand and i cannot see any change don't look for anything once he speaks the word it is done miracle miracle of salvation miracle miracle of healing miracle miracle of deliverance everything coming upon your life tonight in jesus name look at mark chapter 7 verse 37 here is the assurance of the lord mark chapter 7 verse 37 what a wonderful thing jesus did and they were beyond measure astonished saying he has done all things well he has done all things well sinners were saved he has done all things well he healed the sick he has done all things well he broke every yoke he has done all things well he removed all their curse he has done all things well he opened the blinds of the eyes of the blind he has done all things well the deaf came and they began to hear he has done all things well the dumb began to hear he has done all things well he said the cat is free he has done all things well all those who are demonized were set free and loose he has done all things well he cleansed the lepers he has done all things well their defilement and the guilt and condemnation of their sin he rolled away he has done all things well he transformed their lives he has done all things well their habits were changed and turned around he has done all things well disunited 
families in discord he brought them together he united families broken families he brought together he has done all things well all the prodigals were brought back home he has done all things well he fed the hungry in their thousands he provided for the needy he has done all things well the paralyzed and the lame and the maimed he healed he has done all things well the incurables he cured he has done all things well HIV AIDS are healed tonight he has done all things well he removed all their mountains he has done all things well miracles signs wonders everything came to pass he has done all things well tonight at the end of the meeting tonight the lord will put the word in your mouth and what and what will you say he has done all things well i look at my body in my body from head to feet he has done what he has done all things well the pain of ania i cannot find it again he has done all things well i was blind when i came but now i can see tell me he has done all things well i couldn't hear with my left ear but now i can even hear the sound of my wristwatch there what has he done he has done all things well i looked at my body they called it a leprosy but now my body is clean like that of Naaman when he came out of river jordan what has happened he has done all things well tonight is that night I said tonight is that night. He will do all things well in your life. In Jesus' name. There is power in the supernatural word of the Savior. I come to point number two. The manifold potentials in our spoken word. The manifold potentials in our spoken word. That's you now. I come to you tonight. The word that comes out of your mouth tonight. There is power there. There's potential there. And the word of miracle is in your mouth tonight. When you speak it out, it will happen in Jesus' name. First Samuel chapter 1. First Samuel chapter 1. I read from verse 17 and then verse 18. And you will see the manifest potentials in our spoken word. In verse 17... Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. That's Eli speaking to Anna. Anna was barren. She had been married for many years. There's no child. And since there was no child, the husband married another woman. And Anna became more sorrowful. And the husband said, don't be sorry about this. I'm all right with you. I, never, I don't have any hope you ever have any child. But you are more important to me than 10 children. Don't worry about it. And that made Anna to worry more and more. And then she, they went to the temple of the Lord. And Anna began to pray. And nobody understood Anna. The husband did not understand. And the other woman adversary in the house did not understand. And all the children of the adversary, adversarial woman did not understand. And Eli, the high priest, did not understand. And she was praying all alone by herself until Eli said, Take your wine, your drunkenness away from you. And she said, I'm not drunk. I'm a woman of a sorrowful heart. The Lord will turn your sorrow into joy tonight. Barrenness will vanish away your life tonight in Jesus' name. And then Anna said, this is my need. And then Eli said, go in peace. The God of Israel grant thee thy petition. Wait. Anna did not judge Eli. Ah, great man of God. How about your own family? That's not Anna's concern. And then great man of God, you thought I was drunk. You don't have correct understanding of people that have bodies and problems. And I said, that's not my problem. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge the speakers. 
I'm not here to judge the prophets. I'm not here to judge the priest. I'm not here to judge anyone. All I need is my miracle. And if that is your mind tonight to say, all I need is my miracle, you will catch your miracle and go in Jesus' name. And when Eli said, go in peace, and the Lord grants you the petition you have asked of him. Look at verse 18. And she said, this is where the miracle is. This is where the miracle comes. And she said, let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went away and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. The miracle has happened. I said the miracle has happened. Because she told the man of God, she said, I accept what you have said. What you accept, when you accept what I say from here tonight, that miracle will happen in your life immediately. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house in Ramah. And Elkanah knew Anna, his wife, and the Lord, tell me, and the Lord and the lord and the lord remembered her praise the lord he has remembered you tonight he remembers your tears tonight your sorrow tonight your concern tonight your heartache tonight your sickness tonight and everything your panic tonight the lord remembers you tonight in jesus name and when it came to pass when the time was come about that anna had conceived the barren were conceived I said the barren will conceive. It says that she bear a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because, tell me, because, tell me, because I have asked him of the Lord. What you have asked from the Lord, the Lord is granting you tonight in Jesus' name. You see, there was power in her word. When she replied, the man of God, be it unto me according as to what you have said. And then she went, no sorrow in the heart anymore. There is power in the word you speak tonight. If you say tonight, when the pastor prays for me tonight, I'm getting my miracle, it's going to be exactly like that. When we begin the prayer tonight and I get up, I'm going to rise up and get up and receive my miracle. It's going to be so tonight in Jesus' name. When you see this problem in my head, in my throat, everything is going to vanish away tonight. It will vanish away in Jesus' name. When you see this thing walking about in my body tonight, the end of that thing is going to be there no more in my life. It's going to be like that tonight in Jesus' name. There is a word, there's a miracle in your mouth because there are manifold potentials in our spoken word. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45. Then said David, It's what you say, it's what you say. Then said David, You see, all the people that receive miracle in those good old days and in the days in which we are, they have to say something. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say something. And it is what you say you are going to have tonight. You'll have it in Jesus' name. Uh, the miracle did not happen until Moses said. When Moses said, that's when it happened. Miracles did not happen until Joshua said. That's when the miracles happened. And something did not happen until Caleb said. They always say something. And here comes David. And David said, the miracle did not happen until Elijah said, according to my word, this is what is going to happen. It didn't happen until Elisha said. It's when they say, and it's when you say, it's when you bring that word out of your heart, and then you bring it out in your mouth, because for the heart man believeth unto salvation, and then it says unto righteousness, and then confessions made with the mouth. The heart believes it, and the mouth says it. And what you say, you're going to have in Jesus' name. Then said David to the Philistine, that comes to me with a sword and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Verse 46. Tell me what happens there. Some, I, I, verse 46. Those two words tell me. Shout it out. Make it your own. This 
day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand and I will smite thee and, and, and take thine head from off thee and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is no God, that, that there is a God in Israel. Verse 50, verse 50. So David, what? Prevailed over the Philistine. You'll prevail. I said you will prevail. When the word comes out of your mouth and then you say it out, the word of power, word of miracle, there's potential power, authority, anointing in that word. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, be, uh, that is pleading with him, praying to him, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But, 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 speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Why don't, you know, as you are there and you tell me, speak the word only and I will be healed. The healing will happen in Jesus' name. It's a spoken word. It's a spoken word. It's a spoken word. We take the word from the written Bible. We take it, we transform it from the written word to the spoken word. And it comes the hand of Jesus, the living word, and it makes it a miracle in your life. And tonight, every spoken word you have here will produce a miracle in Jesus' name. And then he said, because I'm a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say, I control by the word, I command by the word, I put people into action by the word, I move things from this to there by the word, I move people from this place to that place by the word, I say to this man, go and he goes, and come and he cometh, and to this man do this and he doeth it. When Jesus had it, he marveled and said, Unto them that followed, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and from the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus says unto the centurion go thy way that's the word go thy way that's the word go thy way and as thou hast believed be it done unto thee and a servant was healed in the cell same hour it will happen again I said it will happen again point number three the miraculous possibilities in his servants Walls, miraculous possibilities in his servants walls i come to declare to you tonight that we have servants of the lord in the house tonight i said we have servants of the lord in the house tonight and when we speak that word in your life miracles will happen Amen. moses was a servant of the lord he spoke miracles happened because god said moses is my servant and when Moses said, children of Israel, the Egyptians you see here today, you'll see them no more forever. Did it happen like that? I said, did it happen like that? And I come to you tonight as a servant of the Lord, and I say that the sicknesses and the infirmities you see today, you'll see them no more forever. Will it happen? Will it happen to you? It has happened already in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14. Let the servant of the Lord speak. Believe the word. 
and the word will come to pass in your life. Exodus chapter 14 verse 13, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. Today. I said today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you. And ye shall hold your peace. Verse 23. In verse 23. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the middle of the sea. Even Pharaoh's chariots and his chariots, horses and chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning, in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. The Lord will trouble your Egyptians. Yeah. And he took up their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, hear this, the Egyptians said, this is what your enemies will say, the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians. That's exactly what Moses said, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Egyptians now confessed themselves. They said, the Lord is fighting against the Egyptians, against the chariots, against the horsemen. Look at verse 30. Verse 30. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And they saw them no more forever. I said they saw them no more forever. Why? Because I'll show you chapter 8 of Exodus. Exodus chapter 8. Why did that happen? How did that happen? How will God answer? And how will God, what will God do for you? Exodus chapter 8. Exodus chapter 8 verse 13. Exodus chapter 8 verse 13. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord did according to the word of his servant. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses. He'll do it again. I said he will do it again. Let the servant of the Lord speak. Blessing, miracle, deliverance into your life. And the Lord did according to the word of his servant. Look at verse 31. In verse 31, and the Lord did according to the word of Moses, always like that. And it will happen like that even tonight in Jesus' name. For Samuel chapter 3, verse 19. For Samuel chapter 3, verse 19. In first Samuel chapter 3, verse 19. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. The Lord is with you there. And did and did let none of his words fall to the ground. He did not allow any of his words to fall to the ground. He accomplished everything. He did everything. Like tonight, the Lord is going to do everything. First Kings chapter 17, verse 1. First Kings chapter 17, verse 1. Blind eyes will open. Deaf ears will open. The dumb tongue will be loose or speak out. That goit and your neck will vanish away. And the ania will vanish away. Tuberculosis will be healed tonight. HIV AIDS will be cleansed away in Jesus' name. Leprosy will be taken away in Jesus' name. Because the Lord will confirm the spoken word. Look at 1 Kings chapter 17. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said, said, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but, tell me, but, say it aloud, 
but say it again according to my word that's when God raises up a prophet, a preacher, a pastor, a leader. When God raises up a servant, he confirms their word. And that's why the man could say, according to my word, according to my word, it will be done in Jesus' name. Second Kings chapter 7 verse 1. In Second Kings chapter 7 verse 1, then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, and in the gate of Samaria. Look at verse 16. It will be done. I said it will be done. And the people went out in verse 16 and spoiled the tents of the Syrians. So a measure of fl fine flour was sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel according to according to according to the word of the lord which elisha had spoken well we've heard about them let me hear about you now the word is in your mouth your word will move mountain your word will take sicknesses away and when we stand together if two of us shall agree as touching anything we ask you and i agree together you agree with what I say, I agree with what you say. The Lord will confirm it in Jesus' name. Because one shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight. And no matter what number of problems you have, if they are not up to ten thousand yet, the two of us will put them to flight. They will live your life in Jesus' name. And this will be your signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. For it says, Jesus answering says unto them, Have faith in God. Thank God that is what I have tonight. I said that is what I have tonight. What do you have tonight? What do you have tonight? Do you believe that God is the creator of the heavens and the earth? Yes, you believe you have faith. Do you believe that God, with God, all things are possible? Yes, you believe you have faith. Do you believe that with Jesus, nothing shall be impossible? Yes, you believe you believe that Jesus, he is the sick today? Yes, you believe you have faith in God. Do you believe that tonight, 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 your miracle will come to you as we pray together? Tell me your answer. It will happen in Jesus' name. Have faith in God, verse 23, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever, 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 where is he? Whosoever, where is he? Whosoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have, I shall have, we shall have, you will have, whatsoever you say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye have them, and ye shall have them. Believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. I have mine tonight. I have mine tonight. I have mine tonight. Ah, uh, is this a Mark chapter 16, verse 20? Mark, Mark, Mark chapter 16, verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them. The Lord didn't watch. Walking with them. The Lord didn't watch. The Lord didn't watch. Walking with them. I didn't come alone tonight. The Lord is here. And the Lord will walk with me. I said, The Lord will walk with me. You are not alone over there. The Lord will walk with you. We are not alone over here. The Lord will walk with us. The Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. Confirming the word with signs following. Confirming the word with signs following. The word will speak tonight to be confirmed. The word will speak tonight to be confirmed in your life. Confirmed in your body. Confirmed to your family, confirmed to your children, confirmed to your husband, confirmed to your wife, confirmed on the ground there tonight. Look at Job chapter 22, verse 28. Job 
chapter 22 verse 28 Job chapter 22 verse 28 you are going to read it yourself are you there open your Bible I said are you there open your Bible Job where are you Job chapter where are you and verse where are you won't you go That's a good trial. That's a good trial. Won't you go? Now, the word thou, it means you. It's talking to you. I said it's talking to you. Now, make it personal. I, I. Okay, okay. Now, for the last time, this is me, this is me. I want you go. You will declare and decree a thing tonight. It shall be established unto you. The light will shine upon your way. All the powers of darkness are driven away from your life in Jesus' name. It's a night of decree. It's a night of dominion. It's a night of power. It's a night of miracle. It's a night of signs and wonders. Stand with assurance. Stand up with confidence. Stand up with faith. I shall decree. I will decree. I come to decree, to decree my miracle, to decree my signs and wonders. I will decree him. It shall be established unto me. The light will shine. The light will shine. Your light will shine. Shine across your pathway. Darkness will vanish away. Impossibilities will vanish away. It is a fact incontestable you will decree i will decree it shall be established the lord has come tonight to confirm your word my word our word together you will have whatsoever you say there's power there tonight let your blind eyes open and see. There's power there tonight. Let the dead begin to hear. There's power here tonight. Let the lame rise up and walk. There's power here tonight. Let that goiter vanish away. There's power here tonight. Let the mountains roll away. There's power here tonight decree decree I will decree a thing and it shall be established this is the moment of power it is the moment of authority it's your day it's your day that what is your mouth bring it out mighty power miracle working power your Red Sea will dry up. Your River Jordan will dry up. Your barrenness will vanish away. I also will decree a thing from here. And it shall be established unto me. Miracle. Power. Signs and wonders. Anywhere you are, get ready. His word of salvation comes to you, get ready. His word of forgiveness comes to you, get ready. This is the moment. It's there. It's there. Brain damage has been healed over there. It's there. Brain tumor has been taken away. It's there. Incredible soul is being healed right now. It's there. The nail that was inside your body is coming out now it's there 
the air falling off has been replaced it's there the demon that held your throat and seized your voice is going away right now it's there now you can open your mouth and speak your voice is now clear all that is gone that impotent husband the lord is touching you right now power strength is coming it's there now you are healed it's there the one that has pores coming out of the soul is dried up now and the lord says you are healed you are healed it's gone your skin problem is dealt with right now. You are healed. You are set free. Madness is being taken away. Insanity. You are not a lunatic anymore. Deliverance comes into your body right now. Now you can hear. Now you can think. Everything is okay now. Healed. Delivered. Set free. The stiff knee, arthritis, is loosened right now. Your bondage is broken, healed. The cancer of the breast has been healed right now. All those germs are dried up. You are healed. The power of the Lord is here tonight to save. It's here tonight to heal. It's here tonight to deliver. And thou shalt decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine forth. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, in Jesus' name we pray. He has answered your prayer. I said he has answered your prayer. I said, yes, I said your prayer. It's about the nice clothes tonight. It's a celebration night. Before I go and put those hands together for Jesus. Joy. Joy. Showers of miracles. Showers of deliverance. Showers of deliverance dominion. Showers, showers, showers. In Jesus' name I receive. Yeah. As bad and eyes closed, salvation is very near you now. Very near you now. It cannot be nearer than this. Salvation is very near, very near right now. As bowed eyes closed, and you want to catch that salvation of the Lord, forgiveness for every evil thing you ever did that will bring condemnation in your heart. Eternal life coming to you right now is so near, so near, so near. I can see it. All you do is just raise up your hand and say, Lord, I'm the candidate for miracle of salvation. I'm the candidate for miracle of salvation. Where are you? Miracle of salvation. Where are you? Raise up those hands. I want to see the hand. As well, can you come in front here? Come to the front here. All those who are raising up their hands, I want you here. So near, so near, so near. Give them chance to come. Give them chance to come. Eternal life, salvation, forgiveness. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Salvation eternal life salvation eternal life salvation eternal life is so near the forgiveness of your sin the forgiveness of your sin here is the lord jesus christ who speaks in his strength and is mighty to save come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest jesus went to the cross of calvary he took your sin upon him he took your shame upon him whosoever whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved and tonight you are saved let the church say amen, amen. salvation everybody shout salvation. salvation shout it loud salvation. once again salvation. it has come to you today i said it has come to you today all those who have come to the front, maybe you were saved before, but you backslid and you came for restoration. The Lord will restore you immediately right now in Jesus' name. 
maybe you have never tasted of salvation this is the first time you are coming i want to assure you tonight that jesus is right there he is your savior i said he is your savior all your sins he will take away all your sins i said he will take away all your sins i said he will take away Raise up those hands. Raise up those hands. You'll never be the same anymore. Raise up those hands. You'll never be the same anymore. When I pray this prayer for you and you accept this prayer and you believe this prayer, you accept Jesus Christ. It's your life. Eternal life will come unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. You are a merciful God. Who is a God like unto you that pardons iniquity, that forgives iniquity? Oh Lord, I pray all these people that have come and those who are still coming, forgive them in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, you bore the stripes for them. You wore the crown of thorns for them. You bore their punishment. You bore their shame. You bore their condemnation. You took their sins so you can give them your righteousness. Oh Lord, right now, I pray, take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them peace of mind. Give them forgiveness. Give them eternal life. Give them the joy of salvation. Let the Spirit of God bear witness in their hearts now. They are children of God in Jesus' name. We receive. We accept. It is done. We thank you, Lord, because we know you've done it. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said... Now stay where you are, don't move here, stay where you are, because the second miracle is meeting you there. I said the second miracle is meeting you there. And now everybody, everywhere, this is a solemn moment, and this is a moment of miracle. Give me a good amen. If you've never seen a miracle in your life, it's coming your way right now. Close your eyes, raise up your hand. This is not to say, I want already your heart. I said, already your heart. And when you hear the final amen, you'll find miracles everywhere. I said, you'll find miracles everywhere. If you are blind, get ready now because you're going to see. If you are lame, get ready, you are going to walk. Any kind of visible thing like pain, like plague, like problem you see there after this prayer, that Egyptian, you'll never see it again in Jesus' name. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Father, in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you because already we know that when I make a decree over here, you'll establish it in the bodies, in the lives, in the families of the people in Jesus' name. Lord, you said you sent us forth and as we went forth, you said you confirm the word or signs following. Here at this moment now, I pray, confirm every word with signs, wonders and miracles in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray those blind eyes right now receive the touch of the Lord. I command that demon of blindness come out in Jesus' name. I command those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. That swelling in your body, I command everything to vanish away right now. And here, vanish away. Goiter, vanish away. That abscess after the operation vanish away right now. Eternal bleeding vanish away in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all the pains in the body, stiffness of the joints, I command everything will vanish away right now. The noise in the ear vanish away in Jesus' name. That deafness, spirit of deafness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray that that person will begin to speak right now. And then the darkness right there speak out in Jesus' name. 
And Lord, I pray for that withered and stretch out that hand. And I pray for miracle strength to come to that hand. Stretch it out. Make it whole in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for those who are lame paralyzed. I pray that the power of God will touch that place right now. And I command that lame paralyzed person, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I command the pains at your back that that pain will vanish away. Go it to vanish away in Jesus' name. All the demonic, tormenting spirit, afflicting spirit right there. That spirit of insanity. That spirit of epilepsy. Come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, everywhere now, inside, outside, youth, children, location, satellite, everywhere, I command your miracle. I pronounce your miracle. I proclaim your miracle. Do it for everyone in Jesus' name. And I pray that everywhere shouts of joy. Everywhere shouts of miracle. Everywhere shouts of signs and wonders. Confirm it, Lord. Confirm it, Lord. Confirm it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That's right. Put those hands together for Jesus. Miracle. 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 Signs and wonders everywhere now. Deliverance everywhere. Dominion everywhere. The supernatural taking place everywhere, everywhere, everywhere right now. Amen.